Hello, friends. Animal behavior isn't exactly as simple as many people think. Some animals are capable of surprising everyone with what they do. But is this unusual behavior actually the norm for these animals? Or could it be something strange is happening in nature? You have to agree, it's a rather unusual phenomenon when a lizard is shooting blood from its eyes. Horned lizards are reptiles that live mainly in Central America. They have developed an extremely curious mechanism of self-defense against their natural enemies, coyotes. Once in a hopeless situation, this reptile can shoot blood from the corner of its eyes for a distance of up to 5 meters. It's done by blocking the outflow of blood from the head, which makes the intracranial blood pressure rise, causing the tiny vessels around the eyelids to rupture. This confuses the predator, and they don't usually like the taste of the lizard's blood, especially if the predator is from the feline or canine family. However, this method of protection has no effect on birds of prey, and thus horned lizards often fall prey to them. You'll never be able to peacefully watch the sunset over the ocean ever again. From now on, you'll always be thinking about sharks when you do. It turns out that the great white sharks use the sun glare during the sunset to hide in the reflection of the bright light and thus track down their prey. I surf every day, and I watch the sun rise high above the water in the morning, says Charlie Harcourt of Flinders University in Australia. The reflection of the sun is much brighter than the sun itself, so the attacking shark is difficult to see above the water. Sharks change their hunting methods depending on the time of day. At least the ones living off the coast of South Australia do. A group of researchers observing the behavior of these animals found out an interesting fact. Sharks turn their backs to the sun in the morning and in the evening. Ichthyologists came to the conclusion that this behavior is effective for hunting. First of all, sharks are less blinded by sunlight in this case, and they can better see their prey. And second of all, the predators become less noticeable to their prey. We are used to the well-known fact that some birds feed on fish, but as it turns out, sometimes it's the other way around. For example, catfish like eating pigeon meat. Nature really can be very surprising. Catfish living in the Tarn River in the south of France are addicted to this strange delicacy. It's the European species, the largest freshwater fish on the continent. Their length ranges from one to one and a half meters. In order to catch a pigeon, catfish quietly swim up to it or even slowly chase their prey if necessary and then grab the unsuspecting bird and eat it. What's interesting is that the study revealed that catfish probably don't actually see the pigeons, but rather feel their movement by the ripples in the water. Scientists and experts are trying to find out why catfish hunt pigeons. Perhaps it could be because there's been less food in the river. The population of fish has increased, and there is no longer enough food for it in the river, so freshwater predators have come up with a new way of getting food. Another theory the scientists came up with is that the fish evolved and found a more refined way of hunting. We are all well aware that it's better not to infringe on the territory of wild animals. After all, animals can see a person as a threat and thus can attack them, all the while having only one desire, for that person to leave their territory as soon as possible. But did you know that male black bears are real pursuers? Female black bears can attack humans if they feel that they pose a threat to their offspring. However, the males of these species are much more terrifying because they can target a person as their victim and then spend a long time stubbornly and quietly following them until they lunge into an attack. It turns out that the profession of a bodyguard doesn't only exist among humans. For example, spiders hire predators as bodyguards. The predators, however, are unaware of their position. Many members of the spider family are venomous, but few have a sufficiently powerful bite. So they need to be cunning. For example, 
The small jumping spiders, Finatella piatensis, which live in Southeast Asia, are a very popular snack for many predators, such as weaver ants or spitting spiders. Spitting spiders even build their homes above the jumping spiders to be closer to their dinner. However, the jumping spiders aren't all that simple and have learned to use their enemies as their bodyguards. To do so, the jumping spiders arrange their homes above the nests of the weaver ants, which in turn like feasting on spitting spiders just as much as on jumping spiders, and the spitting spiders apparently are scarier to the jumping spiders than the weaver ants. Despite the terrible neighbors, some of the jumping spiders do manage to survive, so the tradition of settling next to predators is passed on from fathers to sons. Did you know that vampire bats can run? Despite the fact that they are great at flying, it turns out that they are also good runners. Lowering their speed, the animals fall on four legs and start jumping, reaching a speed of 7 km per hour. These bats are said to be blind and bloodthirsty creatures. Taking into account their unusual diet, they feed exclusively on fresh blood of mammals. It becomes clear that vampire bats got their name after a character in European folklore. But when you learn more about these animals, you'll realize that they have been slandered. For example, they willingly share food. And not only with family members, but also with friends. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, Wilkinson and his assistant spent hundreds of hours peering into the dark interiors of hollow trees in Costa Rica to see vampire bats regurgitating blood into each other's mouths. In most cases, these were mothers feeding their offsprings with blood. But quite often, the donor and the recipient didn't seem to have any obvious family ties. It looked like the two individuals spent a lot of time together and had established a nurturing relationship. Did you know that bees roast hornets alive? But not to have them for dinner or lunch, but as a way of protection. The giant Asian hornet is a very dangerous insect. It makes sense. It can be as big as the thumb of an adult human, and in just one minute can kill up to 40 honeybees. But Japanese bees have learned to defend themselves against this formidable predator. Their secret is simple. All for one, and one for all. When a giant hornet attacks, a swarm of bees doesn't scatter trying to escape, but on the contrary, they surround the attacker as close as possible, forming a hot bee ball around it. The temperature inside the ball reaches 47 degrees Celsius, so the hornet literally gets roasted alive in it. Several bees, of course, die heroically in the process, but most of the insects remain in full health. It turns out that starlings are capable of onomatopoeia. Therefore, Scientists decided to find out whether these birds would be able to master complex grammatical structures inherent only in the human language. The answer turned out to be yes. However, to get these starlings to succeed, you'd have to stock up on a fair amount of patience and time. It took the researchers several months to train the birds to recognize and grasp the grammatical construct in the middle of a sentence. As of now, starlings can't use memorized grammar rules to answer a person, but according to scientists, it's only a matter of time. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts about this episode in the comments. Like the video, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.